Ed, what have you done? That Ferris Bula, always up to nonsensical behavior. I nearly had him. He was right there. Well, what were you going to do to him, Ed? You know what I was going to do, Grace, you lobster-looking shellfish. What's that? I wanted to kill him, Grace. Kill him for all the unacceptable behavior he has caused in the recent years. I nearly got fired because of his ass. Did you ever realize he looks like Matthew Broderick? No. Well, you do now. I couldn't get a hold of him. He left as soon as I did. I'm so bloody mad if you ask me. So, I'm out for revenge. I'm going to kill Ferris Bialao. I killed Cameron Bloody Fryer to get back at him. Um, Ed, you should know something. What? You see, Ferris Bueller is invincible. Are you fucking serious? Whenever he sings Dank Shown by Wayne Newton he gains this power. It's bloody impossible to explain. Nothing like I've ever seen before. You didn't think to tell me this earlier. I didn't think it was important. Get out. What? Get out of my house. We're not in a house, Ed. We're outside. So I can't kill Ferris Bueller at all? Well, not entirely. How? This is extremely rank and dangerous. I was going to off myself later anyway. Well, in that case, in order to kill Ferris, you need to get the Port Rib Sword. The Port Rib Sword? Yes. What a rank name. Excuse me, Ed. But this sword is the only sword to kill Ferris. Mate, I guess you're right. You're goddamn right. How do I get this sword? You need to defeat the Almighty God. However, he has bodyguards. Who are these people? First, Daddy Derek. He knows baseball and is the creator of Cool Cat. He will be a challenge yet the easiest out of them all. Then, Jesse Eisenberg. He has the power of the red capes. And now you can't see him. He also loves bringing people together. Next, James Nidden, the director of the Bird and McMovies. He thinks he's Quinton Tarantino, but we all know Tap's not bloody true. Then you must kill Hedder. Careful. His substantial amount of chode he equips can prove to be dangerous. This time it's not prosthetic. After that, Tommy Wiseau will be your next to kill. The writer, main leg, director, choreographer, editor and basically everything behind the hit movie. The room. This is not a force to be reckoned with. His laugh is known to kill millions at a time. And even his worst counterpart, Neil Breen, will need to be eliminated. He can be a computer hacker, robot space Jesus, or a book writer who is also a hacker. He possesses the ability to throw infinite amounts of old Sony laptops at you. So you better be fit and able to dodge him. Getting close, Alec Baldwin will try to prevent you from touching his king, so you better bring a cat. He hates cats. He still is very strong so use your cat wisely. And finally, the king and queen who possess the port rib sword. Queen Kim Dickens and King Cliff Curtis. I don't know how to kill them, but if you want that sword, you're going to have to try really hard. I'll do my best. Good. How do I meet these geezers? There is a portal, behind Walton House Secret Kitchen. That's what it's called? Yes. So who is it secret if it says it in the name? Don't question, mate. Okay, when? 4.20 a.m. I usually stay up to that hour watching Nugget Porn anyway. Well, Nugget Porn is going to have to wait. But they were fisting each other. Had a Nuggets fist each other. Don't matter. Anyway, meet me behind Walton House Secret Kitchen at 4. Fine. Hey Ed. Okay. Where is the portal? Not here. What? I didn't want people hearing where we were going. We were alone, and now we are surrounded by people. My bad. You fat whale. The portal's behind Adeline and Ma's PLT kitchen. What? Yeah. Whatever. Now what? I say the prayer. Go ahead. In the name of the pork and the rib and the nugget porn. Gay men. You ready? Yes, XD. You going, not more than one's allowed in this world. I will communicate with you using my Gracia Talker 69.
Taxophone. Whatever XD.